Hmm. The new constitution. Why do we need a new constitution? Well, as you probably now have inferred, the old constitution um, needed a refreshment. The 13th and 14th and 15th Amendments were attempts to refresh the Constitution, an attempt to go back to first principles and build a different pathway, uh, one towards greater freedom for all those people who were, who were excluded from the first constitutional moment, uh, an ability to recreate structures that enhanced freedom rather than structures that were built on reinforcing the lack of freedom, namely slavery. And um, a, a constitution that was capable of expansion rather than constant retrenchment. So the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment tried to do that. They were overridden by politics and by the Supreme Court. And we're still living in the aftermath of that. We're living in a period of time in which those efforts to remake our justice system uh, have been cramped. Our sense, um, and by our, I mean many of us who write and work in the area of constitutional law and equality, is that we need a new starting position. We need to refresh the Constitution again. So my colleague, Catherine McKinnon, and I started thinking about how do we put our various imaginaries into words? What is it that we will create as a new point of departure? It can give us the uh, objectives. It can give us new beginnings so that we can rethink what our social order should look like. So that's what we started to do. We wanted to draft an equality provision, number one, that didn't separate race equality from gender equality, from equality based on sexual orientation, that brought all of these different lessons and challenges together into one amendment that says equality is for everybody. And number two, the fact that we didn't have equality in the past cannot be a benchmark for determining how much equality we can have in the future. So we wanted to create a new baseline, and it's a new baseline based on what our country would have looked like had we started off initially with a profound commitment to making equality real. So that's what our new amendment proposes to do, make equality real by repudiating all that stuff in the past, by saying, if your expectations are limited by what has come in the past, we'll never get to where we want to be. So let's create new expectations based on where we want our society to go and create a constitutional amendment that allows us to get there. The Constitution, the sacred charter of we the people, the blood and sweat of we the people, the life, liberty, and happiness of we the people. The people were to rule, not some of the people, not the best people or the worst, not the rich people or the poor, but we the people, all the people.